All right, guys, my sense is that today's video is gonna be really short. It's Monday, called the boss, because I didn't hear from him. And basically, today is Tuesday, in terms of the bakery schedule. On Tuesday, it's basically dead. That would be today, Monday. Uh, tomorrow, I'm working. I got a load going uh, straight to um, a warehouse full of bread in Memphis. And I get to take a trailer full of bread from the bakery half a mile away, take it to the Memphis warehouse, unload it all, put it where it goes, come right back. It'll be a real easy day, probably the easiest day I've had on this job. It's good miles, it's from here to Memphis, it's about 400 miles, I think, round trip, or probably a little bit more than that. Anyway, I told you guys in the video yesterday that it is uploading right now, currently, or may have already uploaded, I don't know, the progress I made on the backyard, so I'm gonna show you guys. There we go. Stoked that the neighbor's dog's not over here barking. They can talk to you guys. You guys, that's definitely just older stuff that just has washed away from here. You can see the strips from where I've gone with the uh, pressure washer. I'm not stoked about that. I was talking to John, and uh, he's ta saying go in circular motions. I couldn't do that. If I when I would do it, I'd end up with the uneven areas, going over areas more than others, and. Um, it, it just say, uh, yeah, I'll live with the strips and then give it a month or two and it'll all be evenly dirty again anyway. So just that little bit's all I got left to uh, wash. Um, I'm not going to wash it today because I need to cut the grass. Today's lawn mowing day. Um, so going to get the grass cut. Don't want to get a whole bunch of water all over the place and then cut the grass. Anyway, uh, the trash guy came this morning, or girl, whoever it is. They didn't take all my trash. This I put in here. But that was all left behind in the machine. It should have all uh, left. Okay, take it back. The rocks you see there, I put the rocks in this morning as well. So basically my trash can's full, and I got another six days until it's emptied, or week until it's emptied again. Um, I'm gonna talk to the neighbors, see if they've had similar issues. And if they have, something needs to be done. If it's just me, well, I'll probably still call the sanitation department people and say this ain't this isn't right. And also remind them, hey, I'm a renter and I'm new. So if you're trying to do something to tick off the old renters of this house, um, you're going at the wrong person. So uh, we'll see what's going on. But yep, backyard grass getting a little long, or backyard weeds rather getting long. Need to be cut, trimmed down. Really undecided what to do in this area. I'm tempted to pull the plants out. Uh, I need to talk to the landlord, just make sure that's cool. The handful of like real plants, like right there. And just cut, just mow this. I may just mow over it and just say, oh, I didn't know any better. Uh, undecided uh, on that. So anyway, that's all I got going right now, guys. I'll talk to you soon. And just kidding. I just ended that last clip. And I realized, there's something else I wanted to share with you guys. Um, I think I told you guys when I was in high school, there is a, a licensed preschool on campus. I took that class for five semesters, kicked butt, and it did really well. This morning, one of my former preschool students from that class added me on Instagram. I feel old. A um, little different with him, though. I think I told you, may have told you guys. Um, his his dad works at Schneider now. I was, I'm part of that reason. I got him to Schneider. So... Uh, he's doing the Dollar General thing, so he's uh, home weekly and whatnot. I've stayed in touch with uh, his parents. Uh, not like, you know, every week or even every month, but enough that uh, I get together with them for a beer or dinner and it's no big deal. Haven't seen the boys. I think I've seen the boys once since preschool. So with the boys, not so much, but a uh, little different, a little different. I was not expecting that to happen but anywho um yeah whenever something cool happens i will uh let you guys know all right guys it's now a couple days later since i last filmed i didn't finish up that vlog uh, no idea why um actually i did it back i do know why but i'd rather not discuss it i uh got a phone call from my mom she had gotten some mail of mine um and it kind of set me off i was not happy about it um basically the short version i think i acknowledged it with you guys is that warner had uh, made a threat to uh bill me uh, money to relocate my truck, even though the way Warner operates, 
I would place every penny that I've earned in the last calendar year that with my truck, my old Warner truck, they assigned it to someone, likely someone new who had just completed orientation. They sent them to my truck and they went on their business making money. They, um, when I was in orientation, I was given permission to leave the truck at a yard or a yard or terminal. Uh, basically any property that Warner owns, uh, leases, rents, whatever. And that's exactly what I did when I left the company. At the time of leaving, they let me know that they didn't like that decision and they were going to charge me a uh, fee that's based on miles to the nearest terminal to relocate my truck to a terminal to get cleaned out for the next driver. There's, I've talked to well over a dozen drivers during my time at Warner who picked trucks up at yards that were left in the cleanliness level that the previous driver had left it. They had not, the truck had not been cleaned out. But anyway, long story short, Warner sent, they apparently didn't pay me everything, which is interesting because from when I last worked for them to when I resigned was two weeks. I should have been paid for everything. Um, I wasn't. And during that time of moving, I was not, uh, you know, looking over every little detail of every paycheck as I normally do. Uh, basically, long story short, my last paycheck was like 600 and something dollars. And they charged me their fee for relocating my truck, which was 500 and something dollars. So my total paycheck was like $9 at, at the end of it. Um, and that really set me off. It still sets me off. But do my best to not let it show um, with you guys. Anyway, so I went, worked. I went to the Memphis warehouse. Delivered all that that bread. That bread, it was hot, but it was easy day, gravy day. I was in the uh, rental truck, so I was on paper log and governed at 65 miles an hour. That's not fun when my boss's trucks are governed at either 75 or 72. Going 65 sucked. Um, the truck I'll be in for my next trip is the truck that goes 75. Uh, looking forward to it. So, uh, what's going on tonight is... Uh, I'm out here just in my yard, enjoying it. I'm probably gonna end up mowing the backyard real quick. I didn't mow it the other day, I mowed the front yard. Um, gonna try to mow the backyard real quick. And then I'm waiting for a call from the guy who's uh, in the truck that I'll be taking. And uh, the load I'm doing tonight, it's an overnighter to uh, LaPorte, Indiana. I'll go up there, I deliver the load as soon as possible. It has to be there by six o'clock tomorrow morning and it's a seven and a half hour drive. I will, uh, as soon as I get there, deliver the load, I don't know if I have to grab an empty or if I bobtail back or bring another load back. I don't know what the deal is with that. Um, find somewhere to shut down. I'll shut down probably about 2 or 3 tomorrow morning. That'll be good to drive at 1, 2 o'clock in the morning. And then I come back and I'll be gone. Shouldn't be much more than 24 hours, if even 24 hours. Um, so it shouldn't be that bad of a deal. These loads pay more. A um, little bit of extra effort going into this load. The guy that drives the truck normally, he's a, a very big, smelly individual. And the last time I drove the truck, I hadn't even met the guy yet, but just by the smell of the truck, I knew that he was a, a pretty big guy. So, I want to show you guys something real quick. This, this is where my green waste goes. Just put it in the street, they said. Uh, most of the time they take all of it, for whatever reason, little bits of hay left behind. I have hay because when I was in California, they dug up my uh, entire front yard pretty much to fix my drainage problems and they reseeded the yard so they put hay on top of the seed so the seed would not blow away and so the bo birds would not eat it so I got a bunch of hay scattered throughout my yard right now but this seed has come back really quick even the neighbors have uh, been surprised about how quickly this all this was all dug up because there's my sewer main that white pipe sticking up this was all dug out um, all the way to this yellow mark here where the main ties into the street um, it was all dug up and reseeded, and that's from when I came back from California, but not that long ago. Very uh, impressed with that. So, but uh, it's interesting to me. You just leave the grass right here in the curb. Generally, they take all of it. Um, they left some behind this time, but uh, this is part of why I didn't do the uh, backyards because I put down that much, quite a bit of it for uh, just my front yard. So anyway, yeah, going back over the road just for a trip, basically. I'll have to stop at least once uh, tonight for fuel. So, I mean, at least one stop for fuel. I'll probably stop again for a little quickie break and whatnot, but I should be back in 24 hours. The truck going 75, that's going to be fun. Um, so, but yeah, I'm in the backyard. I haven't done anything with the pressure washing. And uh, the grass I still got to cut. So, 